You guys, I have a major life update to share with all of you. I got a new sewing machine. It's the Brother and Novus NS1750D and it is a quilting machine, a sewing machine, and an embroidery machine. This is the first thing, testing it out. This is my Crafty Chica fabric, by the way. Isn't this cute? Anyway, I used it to try out my new fantastic Brother sewing machine. Let me show you what it's all about. You are going to love it. Now, the project I'm doing is for Mother's Day. But first, let me introduce you to the machine. So what I love is it comes with this base for regular sewing and then remove it and replace it with the base that works for embroidery projects. And what I also like about this machine is everything is numbered. All of the steps have little diagrams that show you how to put it all together. So you can't go wrong. And this is the third base. It's a large work area for quilting. For this project, we're going to use the embroidery. These are some bandanas that I bought to embroider on by hand, but I thought I'd do it on the machine. For thread, I'm using these beautifully, brightly colored embroidery threads made by Brother. Okay, let's turn on our machine. Once you see the Brother logo show up, you want to tap that and it's going to take you to the straight stitching, which is fine, but for now I'm going to tap the embroidery icon. I have put my bandana inside the four x four frame. There's a little guide to help you keep it centered and now it's time to insert the frame under the needle. Now I have switched out from the regular presser foot to the embroidery presser foot. And there's a little lever that you pull back so you can snap that frame in place. Once that's in, we're going to choose our design. So the first thing I want to do is I want to write the word madre for mother. This is going to be for Mother's Day. So I'm choosing my font from what's preloaded inside of the machine. It comes with so many different fonts and styles. I'm typing out madre and I'm going to tap the medium size so that it will fit within the frame. So once I'm done with that, it will show how it's going to look within the frame. If I want, I could press move and I could move it around anywhere within the frame, but I want it to be centered, so I'm going to leave it right here. Now I already threaded the machine. I'll put a link in the description so you can see a video how to thread the machine. And now I'm not even using the presser foot. I just press the green button and now it's starting to stitch and embroider the word madre. I use yellow thread. It even tells you on the screen how long it will take. For this word, it took four minutes. I want to add some designs around the word and it comes with 181 built-in stitches and 125 built-in embroidery designs. There's even 45 designs with Disney characters, 140 frame pattern combinations, and 10 embroidery lettering fonts. There's a lot to choose from. I wanted to add a flower design, so I went through the screen, which I love. It's a 3.2 inch color LCD touch screen display, so you could see exactly what you're going to embroider on your design. Now this little flower pattern, you can click move or resize so that you can change it to how you want it. So this one I decided to leave it as is, but I wanted to move it to the upper corner of my four by four area. So I just used my finger and dragged it a little bit. We are good to go. The light turned green and I love how it tells what color we're working on using the red right now and it just starts making the flower. When it's done, you simply look at the screen to see what color to change your thread to and repeat the whole process through all the colors until it's done. I did two of these flowers. Once it's finished, remove the tray and then snip all of the excess threads and give it a good iron. I wish I had ironed this before I started. Next time I know to do it before and after. And now we have one super cute bandana for Mother's Day. You could personalize it with her name or even for your Thea or your Nana. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check out craftychica.com for even more ideas.